My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to you. You deserve it. You deserve it. All of the glory belongs to you. All of glory belongs to you. You deserve it. You deserve it. Good morning, good morning, good morning, dear sub ministries, friends, families, and associates. Welcome to another awesome and magnificent and glorious day that our God has made. Oh, welcome into the present of the Most High God, the El Shaddai. Oh, we bless His holy name as we come under the canopy of His Shekinah glory this morning. As we enter into the presence of the He who created the heavens and the earth. Oh, we bless His holy name and we come come into his presence through his only begotten son for by him and in him in him we enter true into his presence for in him we are made holy and righteous even the righteousness of god in him oh his blood has sanctified us that we can come before our god with gladness of heart and giving him praise Oh, we can sing hallelujah to our God and we can bless him for all the goodness he has done for us. All the goodness he has done for us. It is God who has brought us thus far. We give him the glory. And we bless his holy name. We bless his holy name. We are saved by believing on his son. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Mashiach. The Christ. Christ said to his apostles. Whom do man say that I am? They replied. Some say. You are John the Baptist, and other say you are Elias. But he said unto them, But whom do you say? It's okay. I hear what the world say. I hear what the unbelievers say. I hear what those who just want to see what's happening are saying. But you who are my disciple, who follow me, whom do you say that I am? The room went quiet. Then knowledge was increased. Understanding came forth. And a revelation was revealed. And Peter burst forth with the joy of the revelation and says, Thou art the Christ, the Mashiach, the Son of God who is supposed to come into the world. And Christ said something he says flesh and blood did not reveal this unto you it's not your understanding it's not what you hear somebody said but this revelation this teaching this understanding came from glory it came from the Father above, the Father of glory. He has dropped it into your spirit. This is from my Father. I know my Father's works. 
this is not man works. This is my father. I know it. Therefore, he says, upon this, upon this knowledge, upon this teaching, will I build my church. Catch this, catch this. Upon this knowledge, upon this teaching, will I build my church. Now, in John chapter 6, verse 45, he says, It is written in the prophets that they shall be all taught of God. For no man commit to the Son unless my Father draw him. You see, the Father will teach and draw the believer to Christ. And upon this, the teaching of God to the believer, I'm going to build my church. Because the only way my body will increase, the only way will I get increase as the Son of God is if my Father will teach. If my Father is teaching, I will be increasing because no one come to the Son unless Father, teach him. Ah, revelation. No one come to the Son unless the Father teach him. Therefore, he said, upon this, this knowledge, will I build my church, which is the body, the body of Christ. Doesn't get increased unless the father teach as long as the father is teaching the increase is coming upon this this will i build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against his church because he's got the victory over death. He's going to raise his church from the grave. For all that come to the son, he gives eternal life. But no one come to the son unless the father teach him. Upon this will I build my church he said it is written in the prophets let's go to the prophets let's go to isaiah chapter 22 4. god says the heart also have the harsh shall understand knowledge and the tongue of the stammer shall be made ready to speak plainly. And in 36, 33, 6, Isaiah 33, 6, he says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of the times. And strength of salvation wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of the time and the strength of salvation the fear of the lord is his good treasure so isaiah says in this time wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability of the time it's going to be the peace in this time and the strength of the salvation will be the fear of God 
the fear of God. If we go to Jeremiah, Jeremiah says, Jeremiah 24 7, and I will give them a heart to know me, that I am Jehovah, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God. And for they shall return unto me with their whole heart. One more scripture. Jeremiah 31, 34. And they shall teach no more. Every man is neighbor. And every man is brother. Saying, no, Jehovah. For they shall all know me. From the least of them unto the greatest of them, say Jehovah, for I will forgive their iniquities and will remember their sins no more. So, let's encap encapsulate all the scriptures. Jesus says, What? Do you say I am? Peter says, You are the Christ, the Son of God. He declares to Peter, This teaching and understanding is not the wisdom of man. But this teaching and this understanding is from a higher place. It's from glory. Is the Father set it down? Then he says in John, No one comes to me unless they have been taught by God. John 6 45. No one cometh to me unless they have been taught by God. Again, he says. No one goes to the Father unless it's through me. So, you see, the Father brings us and choose us. Then he teaches us, give us to Christ. Then Christ brings us through him, sanctification, and give us, give us back to God. Cleanse holy, unspotted. And all this is the work of God. All this is the work of God. He teaches us, He sanctifies us through His Son, through the blood, and brings us back to Himself. Therefore, it said in Revelation chapter 1 Unto Jesus Christ, the first begotten of the dead, to Him that loved us. And washed us from our sins and made us kings and priests to God his Father, to him be the glory and dominion forevermore. So the revelation that we get from the scriptures is that God is gonna teach us. And when he teaches us, he's gonna bring us to his son. And when he brings us to his son, the son is gonna sanctify us through truth and through his word and through the blood when we are sanctified and washed he brings us to the father present us spotless holy then no one will need to teach us about god because we're going to know him no one will need to teach us about the father for our eyes shall be holy we will be in his presence because God was in Christ reconciling the world back onto himself. It is all the work of God, salvation of God. For in Jehovah there is salvation and he sent his only begotten son that if you would believe on him, 
if you would receive the teaching, the revelation that he is the Christ, the Son of God, if you would receive that revelation, then you would believe on the truth of God's word and you will begin to learn wisdom where God will give you to his son, wash you, cleanse you, and bring you home back. Bring you back home to him. That's why we say, my hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to you. You deserve it. You deserve it. All of the glory belongs to you. All of the glory belongs to you. You deserve it. You deserve it.